Chance any day of the week. <coughs> well, look, you're here now, and that's the main thing. So, this, this is it. What we've all been hearing about for the last few weeks. Yep, yeah, in all its pride and glory. Wow, I'd sure love to afford a place like this. Come on, you know what? The quicker we get unpacked, the quicker we can have some fun. Oh, ouch! That looks nasty. Who's that? Oh, you know what? Uh, um, the other day, we were tossing a dresser off into the skip. The bloody thing toppled over and caught me. Jesus! Yeah. You know, um, I'd been flattened altogether. Only Kevin caught it in time. A regular knight in shining armour, that fella, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Uh, listen, why don't you take that off the table there? It'll do for eating off of later. Would you give us a chance to catch me breath, would you? Yeah. You can think of it as my revenge for you missing your dress fitting the other day. Oh, I told you. I was at the doctor's. Listen here now, Missy. For the next five days, my wedding takes precedence over everybody's head. I don't care if it's a matter of life and death. You know, this place still takes my breath away. Look, about that. You know, on a clear day, I can just about make out Dublin. Una. Oh, you know, I thought I'd never get away from the whole sorry lot. Sorry, Kelly, were you saying something to me? Yeah. My date for the wedding. Oh, yes. Mr. Wright. What is it now? Two months? I can't believe we're actually going to get to meet him at last. Well, well that's just it, you see. Y you won't. We won't? He's not coming. A and you're only telling me this now? I only found out the other day. Well, now, that's going to really upset my seating arrangements. Not to mention a four-course meal going to waste. Oh, you'll have no problem filling it. So, what did this one do? Fart in bed. <laughs> M maybe he belged or picked his nose. Nothing, actually. God, you're so picky. And you wonder then why you haven't got a man. I said he did nothing. Huh. There's a first. The other day, when, when I couldn't make it for the dress fitting. Oh, yeah. You said you'd a sore truth. Mind you, I didn't believe it for a minute. Well, I wasn't exactly lying, see. I was actually at the doctor's. Do me a favour. Next time, order a helicopter. I thought you got an Austrina. I'm sort of sorry I didn't. I take it the loo's working? Yeah, straight in there to the left. What in the name of God possessed you to bring those two old ones along? Uh, and they're harmless. Look, lighten up you. Two steps forward, ten steps back. It's going to be a disaster with those two, Una. It will not. Now check on them. Oh my God! Are we right in there at target? Come on, ladies, this way. Ah, uh, hello? What? That's not our tent, is it? And what does it look like? We can't sleep in that. And why not, Trina? Because my granny has knickers bigger than that thing. <laughs> How the hell would you know? Sure, you've never, you've never camped out before, let alone set foot in the countryside. Oh, we're here, Olive, we're here. <sighs> <sighs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oxygen. I need oxygen. I think I need the kiss of life. That was so 
I'm shaking the saw, of course, you, you spouses up there, Luna. Ah, uh, uh, what do you like? I'm none of you able for a bit of a hike up an old hill. A bit of a hike? An old hill? Robin Hood and his merry men would be able to what you were after cutting this through. And we spent all the morning getting ourselves ready for this. Well, it's you, I and blame. And look at the state we're in. Look, that's you, I blame. Oh, yes. I get the blame for everything. Oh, it'll be great fun, Auntie. We'll have a great time. For sure, I didn't know we had to climb Mount Everest first, did I? <laughs> no, destroy it. Look, Oliver, um, have a drink. Get this into you, Olive. Oh, yeah, pick it off. Oh. Here, have we to go down that same way too? And how else do you expect to roll down in a barn? <laughs> when you will have to send for the mountain rescue in the morning, because I'm not going back down again. My feet are rough that climb. Well, Olive, I did tell you to wear walking shoes. Sure, doll shoes, walking shoes. Now, if you had said hiking boots... <laughs> if I had said hiking boots, you wouldn't have come. If you had said hiking boots, my dear, you'd have got a belt of them. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> At least the hard bit's over now. It's all fun and games from here on in. Oh, yeah, this place looks like a right barrel of laughs. Listen, Enter. Sit down there on the bench beside Olive. And uh, when you get your breath back, you can put up your tent. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> yes, Olive. Climb mountains and stick up tents. Would you think we are? The FCA? <laughs> Olive, it, it, it's, it's practically pop-up. It puts itself up. I don't care if it comes with a remote control. Why do you have to do it? Look, I do it myself. Just let me get out here started first. <coughs> oh! Oh! I don't believe it! What now? The heel of my shoe! <laughs> Nearby. <laughs> I'm just asking, that's all. I know. It's stuck at that cow track that we were dragged up here. Come on. Oh, what do you mean, come on? You're going to help me to find it, aren't you? Uh, You're going to look for it. Not more walking. Jesus! <laughs> just don't expect me to go traipsing far looking for it. I'm telling you that now, Olive. I don't want to say it. Well, then don't. But I told you so. Do you know? She's not the worst, once you get used to her. The worst? You know, I don't think she likes the place. She hasn't said a word about it. Aren't mothers-in-law supposed to be like that? A little catty. She's not my mother-in-law yet. Five days and counting, Una. And you know, you haven't said much about the place either. Give me a chance, I just lend it. Well, what do you think? Well, it's not exactly what you'd call prime real estate now, is it? The prices haven't finished falling yet, you know. Could be worth half what you paid for it this time next year. Jesus, I'm kind of sorry I opened my mouth at all. Not to mention it's a tad remote. It's only 80 minutes from Dublin. I think you mean the edge of Dublin. And 50 on the weekend. You make it sound like it's a bonus. All of this, an hour and a half drive from James's Gate. You bet it is. You know, there was evenings I was stuck in traffic getting home. Oh, oh now, that's a stink in there. Oh, wouldn't you be the same if you'd been boarded up for a whole year? A year? Is it safe to go in at all? For God's sakes, it's not that bad, Trina. Well, I hope you've had some safety helmets for us as well. Look, maybe it doesn't look the best right now. But wait till you see when it's all fixed up. Well, whoever saw to this place, Una, was damn good at their job. Look, come back in a few months' time and see if you feel the same way. A few months, a few years, more like. God, you're very encouraging, Trina. Not jealous now, are we? Trina, jealous. Whatever give you that idea? You know what I mean, lads. All that work. All that work. What is it? A, a bit of an extension. A, a lick of paint. A couple of slates and a few floorboards. Well, rather you than me. Well, I think there's a lot of potential in this place. Yeah. Wish I had the chance of it. You know, if you'd stop pissing away all your money, you might have. <laughs> me? Steve? That'll be the day. Look, girls, s stop all that. Look, come here and feast your eyes on this. What's that? <coughs> Plans. Kevin's cousin's an architect. He drew them up for us as a wedding present. Kevin was driven up this morning and left them as a surprise for me. What do you do? I know. Look, we're going to have the new bedroom here. Then the utility room will go here. Oh, and the nursery will go here. Oh. <laughs> I know. And then we'll extend the kitchen out into the dining room. So 
so that this magnificent view is the first thing we see when we have our breakfast. So when does this big transformation begin? Well, the first thing Monday morning. Wow! Yeah, and see, that's why I want you to come up here. To see the before and the after. Not to mention, help clear out the junk. Well, rather you than me, Una, I couldn't move into a home until everything was perfect. Jesus, you've no vision at all, so you have. You know, sometimes you've got to be able to see beyond the broken glass and the cracks. Una, all I'll say is, God bless your eyesight. Well, at least it's better than the old dog box and apartment you own. Business as usual, and it's not even four o'clock. Jesus, don't you start. Here, pick up some ties there and turn them out the skip with me. Good night, me arse. Did you ever hear the likes? Well, she can buy a new pair for me, and that's for sure. Oh, Jesus. Will you look at the land the time forgot? My son has his hands full with this lot, and that's for sure. Four months? More like four years, if you ask me to get this dive into shape. It'll be lucky to have electricity, not a mind, and running water. <coughs> I'd laugh at myself. Coming up in the car. Cabbage and potatoes. He might be handy with his hands, but Farmer Brown, good luck with that, Una love. <laughs> Hello there. Enter. Have I been talking to myself all the time? Sorry, I was miles away. You were the exact same way coming up in the car. I was not. Oh, yes, you were. Staring out the window and muttering to yourself. You know I don't like long car journeys. Well, you didn't have to come if you didn't want to. Of course I want it. I've been looking forward to this for ages. Could have fooled me, standing there like a statue. It's just here. It's so far away. Tell me about it. Oh, Kevin wanted Dublin. Oh, but Una. Una had her heart set in the country, he said. Her heart set in it. But to be stuck up here. If you idolise one another as much as they do, you go to the moon for one another, I suppose. No, but there's no one nearby. Like if anything happened. Uh, what's that? Oh, no, love. We were just talking about you. Oh, yeah. Now, I thought you were off the hedge when I heard about it first. But now that I see it, it's going to be beautiful. Isn't it, Anta? Absolutely beautiful. Your mum would have been so proud of you. She would. Has your dad seen it? He knows where it is, if that's what you mean. He'll be all on his own now, missing you inside in the house. All on his own. Yeah, and the pub's around it more like. <laughs> Drowned in his sorrows because the apple of his eye has flown the coop. Yeah, I, I suppose. Uh, and uh, I suppose you would be delighted to get the place back to yourself now again. Oh, I will and I won't. Oh, you know, it was so good of you to take us in for the last couple of months. Well, it was just lovely to hear some happy voices in the house again. You know, what we saved in the rent. Helped pay the builder his deposit for here. Well, I'm just so glad I could help. Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You were very welcome to come and stay with me. You know that, Una. But I think the idea of you and Kevin having hot, passionate sex in the room beside his mother was a little bit too much for him. Jesus, Anna. But it's true. You could hear the bed springs in Phoenix Park. <laughs> Una, to tell you the truth, I'm going to miss the pair of you. Oh, I don't know about that. Between uh, Kevin's mess and not to mention the, the rows. Rows? You were like a pair of church mice. I wouldn't even know you were there half the time. Really? The perfect tenants. Oh. Uh, listen, Una, love. Is, is there any chance we could go in and have a little snoop around? Oh, work away, Olive. Oh, work away. Great idea. I'm dying yeah, to have a look around. Come on, Oh, lovely door. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Anta. Yes, love. Um, I know what you're thinking. Oh? Well, it's written all over your face. Oh, look, I'm really not you sure know, what to say. I, I was the same when Kevin brought me here first. Oh, here? Oh, do you mind me? I'm all sixes and sevens after that climb. Yeah, here. You know, when he brought me here first, I, I think I cried, but then he took me by the hand and took me around from room to room and showed me all that needed mending. Well, he should know. He has an eye for those sort of things. Yeah. Olive. I don't think Olive likes it that much. Who cares what Olive thinks? It's what you think that matters, and you only. Well, if something can be fixed, so be it. But if it can't... Yeah, I suppose you're right. 
come eat till you see the range. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, where's Thelma and Louise gone running off to? To have a nose around, where else? Jesus, Kevin's mother. Look, I know, but she's grand once you get used to her. Oh, my ears are only getting back to normal after that car journey. At least you only had her in the car, Kev. You should have heard her on the way up here. And what's with the other one? Oh, she's an Anta, Kevin's godmother. They've been pals in school. Not the chattiest woman in the world, is she? She usually is. Look at this. Something wrong? Yeah, look. Look at what she gave us as a wedding present. Looks like a food mixer to me. It's a cheque for a thousand euro, Trina. A thousand euro? Yeah. Where would she get that? I, I don't know, and I didn't know what to say. Thank you very much, I hope. <laughs> well, you're going to love what me and Mick got you. Oh, don't tell me. A dishwasher. I asked you not to tell me. Well, Kelly, what are you getting her? Oh, a, a big box of mind your own business. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> well, look, look, every little helps. God knows it's going to take some time before we have this place kitted out the way we want it. Well, here this one. And she earns more than the two of us put together. Ah, of course, like, uh, we'll have some furniture. But to have it the way, the way I really want it, that's going to take some time. At least you have it, please. Think of me stuck in my little flat mm. while you're out here in the evenings taking in the view and sipping wine. It's sipping wine? Her and Kevin, steady on. Cans of Dutch gold more like. <laughs> Listen here now, why don't you start gathering up the junk? Not so much as the last family lying around. It's so spooky. You yeah. should have seen it when we got the place first. There was ties, clothes, even a dried out. There was a dead goldfish in a dried out bowl. Oh. Ew. Yeah. Oh, do you think they'd have took those ones when they were leaving? They didn't have time. Oh, the house was repossessed. Was it now? Mm. Oh. It seems that they fell behind in their mortgage payments, so the bailiffs came, threw them out, and board the place up with what they couldn't take they to leave behind. They can't do that, can they? To a family home. They can. Oh. Well, I've no sympathy for them. Oh, there's a surprise. Don't go buying things if you can't afford them. It was people like them that drove the prices up for the rest of us in the first place. I've no sympathy for them. No sympathy at all. Serve them right, they all get repossessed. Oh, um, oh Mary Puffer's call Trina. She wants her dress back. <laughs> uh, at least I made an effort. I think Kelly's expecting a barn dance. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> it's not funny! Uh, I like enough you! You've been, not, you've been in our moods since we picked you up today! This is not how a hen party's supposed to go, Nan! Oh, I know, but... I had amazing plans! Look, I know, but... I know, but you wanted something different. Well, you certainly got your own way. No, trust me, this is going to be great fun! Mm -hmm. Great fun? What are we, 12 years of age? You're supposed to go mad on hens! Raise hell! And we can do this here! All you can raise here is chickens! <laughs> No, cooking over the barbecue, camping out and a few beers. It's going to be great crap. Won't be a patch of what I had in mind. Well, at least it can't be as bad as Kelly's male stripper idea. Hey, that was a great idea. I have far in more imagination than that. If you know what I mean. Uh, go on. You know, one last fling. With Saint Una, are you gone in the head? Continue flinging the rubbish in there now. <laughs> Don't tell me the thought never crossed your mind. <laughs> get lost you. One last kiss. One last bit of nookie. Nookie? And what do you think I am? Seventeen? At least you know you get a signal up here. Yeah. I need an answer today, Trina. I'm getting out of here, with or without you. Uh, are you okay, Trina? Uh, yeah, it's Mick. Um, his Xbox is on the blink. His he wants to know if I was at it. Xbox? Yeah. What a loser. Tell me about it. Him and his dole buddies were on three o'clock this morning. They were asleep in the couch when I was leaving. The place was a complete mess. Oh no, still no sign of a job. It's been a year now. <coughs> He's given up looking, oh. let alone washing and shaving. Piss off, you and London. London? <laughs> he had the nerve to suggest we moved there yesterday. Can you believe that? What? Like he lived there? Everyone's legging it, he said. As if that's supposed to make a difference. Is he out of his mind? He said we could rent out our apartment to cover the mortgage. You're not gonna you're not gonna go there, are you? Six years living together. It's not to London I want to go, it's up the bloody aisle. Oh, <laughs> bet he loved that. He sure did. But what did he say? He wasn't prepared to stick around here, bro, any longer. Mortgage or no mortgage. Oh. And that it was my idea we'd buy the place, so I have to sort it out. 
Men, they're not even here and already they're causing trouble. You know, Trina, it's not unheard of for the girl to ask. Ah, uh, will you get me the shotgun while you're at it? <laughs> anyway, like, what's the big deal all of a sudden? You've been living together for ages. Nothing to do with our Una tying the knot now, is it? Who said anything about it being a big deal? I just want to settle down, you know. Start a family. Only his good in bed. He'd be gone long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I say something funny? Good in bed. You're easily pleased. Oh, do you know, would you? Would you or make? No, thanks. Yeah, he's probably one of the only fellas you haven't shagged. Oh. Hey, watch it now. It's true. You'd get up in a cart, so you would. Oh. <laughs> Keep it up, Trina, and I won't be sticking this in the skin. Got us morals all of a sudden, have we? Got all prim and proper. Ah, look now, girls, come on. E ease it down. Will you stop? She's only winding you up. Am I wrong, Una? Jesus, don't be getting me involved in these things. I mean, she's the one who's always boring us to death with the latest fella she's been shifting. Yeah. I'm warning you, Trina. Well, go on then. What? How many fellas have you shagged? Are you for real? And what kind of a question is that now? Well, it is a hint party, isn't it? What are we supposed to talk about? How to serve the perfect casserole? How to make apple pies? How to hem a pair of curtains? Well, I'm not afraid to say Mick was my first. He was? Yeah, something wrong with that. Oh, God, no, no, no. Met me in college and swept me right off my feet. Well, Missy, how about you? Me? Yeah. But you don't know how many I've been with that. I suppose six or seven. Well, eight if you count the night of my debs, but sure. I was so drunk that night I don't even remember it. Seven, seven or eight? That's it? That's plenty for me, thank you very much. Well, Kelly, will I get the calculator out? <laughs> Very funny. Let me have a wild guess. Thirty. I don't keep a record. No, sure, she's done that many in college alone. <laughs> Forty. Oh, piss off, Trina. Fifty. Sixty. <laughs> Seventy. Oh, I don't know. Maybe ninety-ish, maybe. <laughs> ninety-ish? Holy shit. I you for serious. <laughs> It might sound like a lot when you put it like that. It might? Oh, yeah, but it's, like, it's what? Only eight or nine a year. Only? Yeah, which over ten or so years is nothing really. No, is it? No, no nothing. No, no. Like there's girls in my job shag a different fella every week. They do. <coughs> ding a ling a ling. One moment, please. Are you going out tomorrow night, Kelly? It's the Navy. They want to fly for leave. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you hilarious? I don't know how her mix sticks are all. You've such a big mouth on you. Seriously, Kelly, do you ever get sick of playing the field? Playing the field? Jesus Christ, you sound like my mother! Because one of these days you'll turn around and find you're the only one on it. So what? I should settle down soon when you are 34? In six months? Christ, this is turning out to be a fun afternoon! You see how quick our 20s went? They say your 30s go even quicker. Yes, well, that's a bridge I turn back at when I get to it. Thank you very much! You know what? Maybe you should ease up on her. What's wrong with her today? Lose her sense of humour on the way up here. No, but do you know that fella she was going out with? How could I forget about him? She never stopped going out about him and his big Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> He's dumped her. Oh, do you know what? It serves her right. She dumped enough in her time. Well, she's pretty caught up about it, so he's up in the slag now, right? Fair enough. If that's the way you want it. Asshole! Stop being a prick. We have a life here. A home. Remember? Do you know what? Maybe you should turn that thing off. Sorry I brought the damn thing, Una. Trina. He wouldn't do that, would he? Run off to London and leave me with a mortgage. All of my own. No, he wouldn't. Jesus, I mean, ma managing it with two of us is hard enough at no, times. he wouldn't. But on my own. No, no, he wouldn't do that to you. What do you do for shops? Shops? You know, supplies and that. What do you do for them? It's not the bloody moon, you know. Well, we are in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> Actually, no, we're not. There's a village over the other side, five minutes away by car. Is there a pub in it? There's two. I love country pubs. Me too. Ah, uh, they're not up to much. Small, dingy old places. Can we go? No. Yeah, sure, like it's not going to take us all afternoon to clear this lot up. Call it a courtesy call. A courtesy call, my arse. 
I know the two of you. Two drinks and there'll be no getting you out of there. It'll give us an opportunity to meet some of the locals. We could introduce you to them and you can all get to know each other. Well, aren't you the considerate friends, huh? I'm sure with Thelma and Louise after going to all the trouble of getting dressed up. Well, it's too late. It's not even half four. No, I mean, it's too late. We've already met them. And besides, what's the point of us going over to the bar and Trina there after dragging up all the booze? What? Maybe in the morning then. A hair of the dog. Oh, please God, we need more than one. <laughs> Hang on there a minute now, lads. What? What? This is what we need to up all the booze. Y you, you did, didn't you? You mean the sleeping bags and the food that weighed a ton and the green bag with all the booze in it? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, yes. Una. Oh, she's right. I took the bag with the plates, cutlery and kettle. See, you were to take the ones with all the booze no, in it. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Are you sure? I, I don't believe it. I told you can we park the car. Shit. I don't. I'm going to kill her. Wait, I'm going to her hand. I'm going to kill her. I think I might have. Oh, Jesus. Trina, how did you manage that one? Wouldn't you know? Katrina was drunk again. Well, I thought Kelly was taking it. Me? And why would you think that? Have I got four arms or something? <laughs> See? Texting. Not now. I'm not staying here to keep a bank happy. It was your idea you buy the place. You deal with it. I bet that's what she was doing when you told her. I said not now. Can't just wait till tomorrow. I'm at a hen party, remember? Between texting and twittering, that girl has no life at all. What is all the shouting about? Oh, um, Trina there has left a bag down in the car. So what? It's not the end of the world. It sort of is. Ah, uh, don't, don't look, look at me. Yeah, it's a bag with all the booze in it. So? Don't look at me. I do an answer to look after. Do you? Don't go blaming us now. Look, we have a few bottles in our bag. We have a few bottles for a night at the piss with five women. Yippee! <laughs> well, what are we supposed to do now? One of you, go down and bring up that bag, Lissy. Go on. Well, I'm not hiking down for it, and that's for sure. And you didn't look at me. Well, we just have to go without the drink then, won't we? Yeah, we will. Right, so. We will. Right, right, so we will. Right. Hold on one minute. Now listen here, ye two beauties. If you think for one minute I'm after climbing up a mountain, ruining a good pair of high heel shoes, and covered myself in God only knows how many shades of cow shite so I could sleep in a tent sober, even other tent coming. <laughs> now I don't know who, when, or how, but if I have to catch the two of ye and roll your head over heels first down that mountain, that booze is getting up here one way or another. And she is not joking either. Look, relax. I'll go down for it, Olive. You? All the way down and back on your own? Well, it won't burn itself up now, will it? But it would take you ages to get there and back. Do you want the drink up or not? Yeah, see. No, I'll go with you. I'll get my bag and I'll go and give your hand. No, you, you won't. No, no, I can't if you're going down on your own. No, I'll be fine on my own. Look, I might find the heel of my shoe. When you do what the girl says, it'll be tomorrow morning before she gets down with you. Let alone back up again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never thought of that. You're, you're fine. You'll be all right on your own. Yes, Mammy, I'll be grander. Just make sure all the junk's cleared up. And Trina, don't forget to clean that barbecue. Oh, you'll be able to eat your dinner off. Yeah. That's the idea. Remember, and if I catch you even looking at that phone, I roast it on the barbecue. Yeah, yeah. We better earn our supper. Hmm. I, uh, I wonder what Kevin's doing for his stags. Nothing like this, and that's for sure, Olive. Oh, I'm sorry, Anta, but this is all stupid if you ask me. Who are you telling me? Oh, no, Una had to have her own way. There's a surprise for you. <laughs> sorry? Oh, I was just saying, sure, all of these should be going off and having a good time somewhere else. She could do this in your time. I can picture you right now, Kevin, tied to a lamppost in the nip, covered in baby oil, singing the fields of Etten Ride to the whole of Temple Bar. I could have done without that mental picture, thank you very much. <laughs> well, wherever you are, Kevin, boy, enjoy it while you can. What do you mean, enjoy it while you can? Oh, his gallivanting days are over now, Olive. He's this, this place to get into shape. <laughs> this place? Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Una wants a lawn out front, well manicured. Well, if she does, she'll have to do them herself. Because I never taught my Kevin to cut as much as his toenails. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. 
Oon is the girl to sort that out. All right, Sergeant Major, when she gets going. I don't know about that. I taught him never to be abused around by no one, man or woman. A stern hand. That's what men need, isn't it, Anta? Let them know who's boss from the very start. I'm afraid you're barking up the wrong tree there. Men are and always have been a mystery to me. I don't know. I'd say you're a bit of an expert when it comes to them. Say you have all the secrets. Oh, I do, all right. Did, did I say something wrong just there? Well, you know about her husband. What about him? Well, did you not tell you? No. Oh, he passed away a few years ago. She's still a bit raw about it. Still blames herself. Blames herself? Yes. He took his own life, the poor devil. Oh, no. Destroyed her whole family. None of her children has spoken a word to her since. Birthdays, Christmases, you name it. It's like she never existed. Oh, the poor woman. Come on, you lot, standing around yapping. Oh, no, we'll have our guts for garters if this place isn't sorted. Do you know something, Hector? She won't recognise the place when she comes back. A plain one. What? The secret of a good man. Oh, listen, I, uh, uh, Not ugly now, just plain. And decent-minded, too. That's important. I don't know. It'd have to be something to look at. Well, marry a good-looking man and you're in trouble for the rest of your days. <laughs> Where did you get that? Off a box of chocolates. Well, at least that's what my mother used to say. A plain and simple man, a plain and simple life. And was she right? She was. But by the time I found out, it was too late. Nah. <laughs> I want fun. Danger. Excitement. Clean and simple is how I like my porridge in the morning. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's funny? You. You remind me of me. I do? Well, a much younger me now, mind. Never lose that, you hear? Why did you lose that, whatever it is? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure if I lost it or forgot I ever had it. You know, you're a dark horse, you. Me? Very secretive, so you are. Well, a life lived without secrets isn't a life lived at all now, is it? Hmm, I'd say you're a bit of a hit with the lads in your day. In my day? Jesus, the compliments are flying around here today. And you had an army of men swooning at your feet wherever you went. <laughs> to be honest, there were just one or two. One in particular I was really keen on. Christy Kelly. Oh, all my pals were mad about him. And they were sick when he asked me out. Woohoo! The cat who got the cream. Well, sour cream as it turned out. Oh! We'd only been going out a few months when he asked me to marry him. Well, they don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the following week, we went into town and picked out an engagement ring. And let me guess, you lived happily ever after. Trina! <laughs> I never made it to the altar, at least not with Christy. Why not? Well, you don't be so nosy. It, it's okay. Ancient history by now. Another life, another me. He'd always had a bit of a temper, Christy. Oh. Especially after a few drinks, but never with me. Until one night, we'd been out dancing. On the way home, he said that I'd been flirting with the barman all evening. I laughed at him, told him he was mad and walked on up the street. I can still feel the wallop to this day. I nearly landed on the other side of the street. It was so hard. Jesus, what did you do? I did what every other woman did. Gave him another chance, and another, and another. I kept on giving him chances until... Until you ran out of them. I woke up in hospital one morning. It was like I'd done ten rounds with Muhammad <coughs> Ali. Well, he must have known he'd gone too far this time. Because I never saw him again. He just disappeared, <coughs> vanished. I found out years later that he'd moved to Manchester, set up a whole new life there, wife, Kids the lot. What a scumbag. I don't know. Maybe he's doing me a favour. Are you for real, Anton? Well, I mean, it could have been worse. Worse? Worse how? I could have married him. I'd have set up home, had kids, and be tied to him for the rest of my life. And all the while hoping I could change him, make him stop. Just like every other woman, before and since. And that was it. You never saw him again. Years later, I was married with two little boys. I was collecting them from school one day when I saw him waving at me from across the street. He said he was home for his mother's funeral and that he was heading back the next day. He joked about me not letting the grass grow. I smiled and pretended not to be interested. But 
all the while hope to God he couldn't hear the sound of my heart thumping at the sight of him again. When we got to my house, he gave the boys a pound between them and went on his way. A pound? That's it? No apology? No nothing? Well, that evening, I was making the supper for the, for, the, for the children, when a young lad came to the door with a note for me. I should have burnt it, thrown it in the fire there and then, but I just couldn't. After all those years, there was still something in me for him. I gave the boys and, and their dad their supper, and I went upstairs to read it. He said that he was sorry for everything, and that if it was any consolation to me, he'd ruined his own life too. And he wondered if we could meet up by the canal later, so that he could apologise, make things right, before heading home and never seeing me again. You didn't go at her, did you? Look at me. Pouring my heart out to two young ones I've only just met. If we don't have this place sorted, Una will murder us, so she will. You know, my aunt was the same. Had an endless supply of second chances. She used to come to our house after a beating. My mother used to beg her to leave. But she just wouldn't. Or couldn't. I'm not sure which. But it's hard to pack up everything and move on once and for all. Especially with kids. You see, there's this hope inside you that they'll keep their promise this time and never ever do it again. But a woman can spend her whole life hoping. Her whole life. I'd kill a man if he did that to me. <coughs> me too. <laughs> Cut his throat. Poison his food. Something. I swear I'd make him pay. And what if... What if... No, no, forget oh, about it. Oh, what if... Well, I often wondered, if I'd known Christy was like that, would I have still got engaged to him? Of course not, Anta. Who would? Well... After the first time, I put it down to drink and thought, maybe I had been flirting with that barman. And then when he apologised the next day, crying on his knees, begging me to forgive him, you believe them because you want to believe them. Because inside you know there's a good man, a better one than the one that hurts you. And you never want to believe that they're the same man. I suppose that's the tragedy of it all. You don't find out until it's too late. Not all the time, maybe. You know something? You would die of thirst waiting for one of you to get up off your backsides to make a drop of tea. Well, come on. Do you want me to pour it out and drink it for you as well? Pour us a cup of tea there, Trina, while I dump this load out. Just gonna rinse my hands first. There's biscuits there in the blue bag. Jesus, don't tell me you're at it again. <laughs> I never open my mouth. I'm not stupid, Anta. There is something up. Oh, I, I shouldn't have come up here today. But it's a bit late for that announcement. We should get a taxi home. A taxi? How many bottles have you drank? <laughs> Whatever it costs, I'll pay. We've been looking to get a horse and cart up around here, not a mind a taxi. Oh. I should go before I... Before what? Before what, Anta? Before I say something I'll regret. Is there something wrong? No, no, forget about it. Where, where did you say the biscuits were? Is one of them after saying something to you? No, of course not. Right, I'm going to leave this like it was bought yesterday. Uh, did you hear that, Trina? Hear what? I think I heard Una calling. I think you must be hearing things, Anta. No, I, I'm sure I heard her. God, I hope she's okay. I can't hear a thing. <coughs> Una, uh, if she thinks she's after hearing Una, I think you should go and check Trina, just to be on the safe side. Nah. Trina, I think you should go and check to see if Una's safe, just to be on the safe oh, side. Oh, for God's sake. Una! Una, is that you calling? Well? You're not going to like this. Oh, for God's sake, spit it out, woman. Promise me you'll hear me out. Promise me you'll listen. I promise. I promise. Well, the other evening I was watching telly after dinner. Kevin and Una were in the kitchen tidying up. They'd been bickering at each other all throughout the meal about the wedding, and it was getting worse. Bickering? Yeah, well, I'd only just sat down when they started roaring at each other. And then suddenly there was a silence. It was the silence that got me. A silence I recognised. What do you mean, a silence you recognised? 
Well, I went back into the kitchen and Kevin was at the press putting the plates away. He apologised <coughs> for all the shouting and said they were fine. But I looked at Una and she was just sitting at the table. She just looked at me, smiled and said nothing. So they had a shouting match. Big deal. No. Well, they can shout at their hats can't take up here. Morning, noon and night. No, you don't understand. I think... You think what? You think what, Anta? I think he... He what? Hit her. What did you say? Please, just hear me out. Kevin, you think? Olive, I know how hard it must be to hear, but... Jesus Christ, Anta. And you are right in the head. Olive, listen. Say something like that. Jesus Christ, what's got into you? Do you think I don't know that, that I don't care? My mind's gone since the other night, not knowing what to say or do. That you could say something like this about your own godson. What did you see, Anta? Well... Anta, what did you see? Nothing. Nothing? I didn't have to see, Olive. You didn't have to see? Are you listening to yourself? I know it sounds crazy, but you have to believe me. And what if you're wrong? Have you thought about that? What if you're mistaken? Well, if I'm wrong, so be it. I look a fool. And destroy everything else since the bargain. Break all his heart. Never mind Kevin's. I, I don't know what's worse, speaking up or saying nothing. Speaking up? Well, something has to be said. Now you listen to me. You keep your mouth shut. That's what you're doing. I can't do that. Oh, you can. And you no, wait. I can't. Five days before a wedding. Oh, and you want to drop a bomb? Let go of There's me. a wedding planned. Everything oh, is in the And you want to destroy it because it's something you thought you'd Let go of me, I said. Jesus Christ. Why did I come up here today? Why did I come up here at all? Now you listen to me, Antoinette. You better get a grip on yourself and pretty swiftly. All the times I prayed for Christy to change. Christy Kelly was an animal. He was a beast. All the months I wasted. How you could even mention his name in the same breath as my Kevin's. The man who ruined your whole life, ruined your family's life. I, I ruined my family's life. Just me, nobody else. Look, I'm sorry, Anta. Look, I shouldn't have said that. And not a day goes by that I don't ever forget it. Gentleman. He wouldn't hurt a mouse. Nobody ever really knows that, do they? Street angel, house devil. How many times have you heard that said about a man? Jesus Christ, Emta, you listen to yourself. You said it yourself. You saw nothing. He idolizes that girl. He worships the ground she walks on. Now you listen to me, Emta, Anish. You won't open your mouth. You swear to me you won't open your mouth. She, she's going to marry him in five days. And nothing is going to stop her. Do you hear me? Nothing. Antoinette, he's getting, you can't stop them. Please, Antoinette. What you're asking? I'm asking you, you're about to ruin my son's life for something you only call yourself. Kevin. How long have you been there? <laughs> I went. She I gave me back just before we got started. I saw it. Yes. Is there something? <gasps> no, not at all. My God, I thought you had wings on your back. You yeah. were that fast. Come on, quick. Come on. Now, isn't she all back? She's safe and sound. Yes. Right, come on, Kelly. Kelly! The glasses, come on. I'll get them. I'll get them. Yeah, there you are. Come on. Get hold them, you. Woohoo! Now I'll come over here. Here you go. Thank you, Lord. And Kelly? Champagne. Oh, I love, love champagne. <laughs> oh, no. This is sure my dress. Right, ladies. I now declare this hint party officially started. Woo! Starving. You were saying 
Uh, food's ready. Everything all right here? Where did you get to? I went for a bit of a walk. Half an hour you've been missing. Nobody knew what had happened to you. Yeah, well, I'm back now. All right. You can get the smell of those for miles. Even the cows are licking their lips. Don't be so stupid. Sorry? They're vegetarians. <laughs> what? <laughs> cows licking their lips. Well, excuse me, Dr. Doolittle. I think she might have lost something. Her sense of humour, maybe? She nearly took the nose off me earlier when I tried to help look for it. She's an acquired taste, Arkells, and in small portions, too. We all thought you'd done a runner back to Dublin. Wish I never had to lay eyes on the place again. Una was just about to send out a search party. To be honest, I was going to leg it. You were? Only I ended up getting lost. I spotted an old tree I'd seen earlier. Oh, didn't that be halfway to Mayo by now? Trina? Yeah? Kelly, she didn't say anything to you, did she? Like what exactly? Well, it's just that me and Olive, we were having a little chat earlier. So? Well, I think she might have overheard and misinterpreted things, got the wrong end of the stick, if you know what I mean. What sort of things, Enter? Well, let's just say it was quite a heated debate. Well, if he had, she never said anything to me about it. Well, I mean, it was just a trifle, that's all. Something I was mistaken about. Then why are you so worried? That's me all over. I could lose a night's sleep over a cracked plate. Well, Forget ever, I ever mentioned it. Whatever you say. They're lovely, they are. Where did you get them? Up the road a small bit. Thought this place could do with a bit of brightening up. I don't know what they are, though. Dog rose. Dog rose? Yeah. I have it in the garden. Wait till the evening. The scent really opens up. <coughs> is he at Kevin Stagg? Is who? I take it that was your fella. Was is right. Sorry? No, he's not at Kevin Stagg. He can't stand him. Really? You sound so surprised. Well, I just thought, you know... To be honest, Kevin's a bit of an asshole. Oh, there's me thinking you all got along together. Kelly likes him, but I cannot stand him. Do you know, at least he has it in him to propose. And let me guess, your fella hasn't? Thought by now I'd be settled down. Few nippers running around the place. Some men are slow burners. Slow? There's times I thought I was going backwards with me. And guess what? I was right. Enter. Yes, love. First loves. Do you ever get over them? I told you before, I'm the wrong person to be asking advice from when it comes to men. It's just that earlier, when you were talking about yours, it sounded like you didn't. Oh, that? Oh, well, it does help if you don't see them again. Out of sight, out of mind, that sort of thing. But if you do enter... Where are they? Will you come on with that tea before everything gets cold? If you go enter... Everything is going to be freezing if they don't hurry up. Well, did you? Did I what? The note, the bybrot. Did you meet him? God, you're like a dog with a bone, you are. A midnight rendezvous. It sounded so romantic, so exciting. Yeah, well, I'm afraid it didn't turn out to be like that. So you did go. It was like time had stood still. Christy was sitting against the lock, tossing pebbles into the canal. There was a smile a mile wide on his face when he saw me coming up the path. And I smiled back. He took a puff of his cigarette and flicked it into the canal and held out his hand. Please tell me you took his hand and flung him in after his cigarette. <laughs> oh, I took it all right. But before I knew it, we were on the grass and in each other's arms. Jesus, Anta, you didn't, did you? The following May, a beautiful baby girl was born. <laughs> Deirdre. And not a sinner but me knew the truth and was never going to. Until a few years ago, she got very ill and needed bone marrow from her father, her real father. <coughs> what was I to do? Say nothing and let her die? Or tell my husband the truth, knowing it would kill him? <coughs> I never knew a person could cry so much. Day after day after day, he cried and cried and cried. Until one day, I came home from visiting Deirdre in the hospital found him, hanging from the banister. Jesus, Santa! Oh, Trina, I see you're back. I thought you might have fallen into a ditch or something. Now, Anta, ham, cheese and... Anta? Anta! Um, she wasn't saying anything to you, was she? Just about her husband. Oh, me and my big mouth. Well, where did you take off to? 
I went out to take a phone call. The signal is bad here. Very convenient, my dear. Returning when everything was cleared out. And did the barbecue scrub itself, Olive? <laughs> I'm only messing with you. Come on, tuck in. The tea's on the way. Oh, Trina, there you are. Where did you get to? What's this? Forty bloody questions. Uh, what the hell? Dog rolls. Flowers in your beer bottle. That's a new one. I must have missed that episode of Room to Improve. <laughs> Una, do you know there's a stream not too far from here? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I was walking past when I heard the gurgling sound. Oh, you know, uh, there's a <coughs> holy well across the road. Kevin reckons that's the source of it. A holy well? Anta, do you hear this? There's a holy well. We might as well go and have a swim in it. <laughs> Icy cold, but such sweet tasting water. Don't tell me you drank it. Just a handful, why? Oh, you would poison yourself, that's why. What's she on about? With all the chemicals that's in it. Chemicals? You know the farmers. Should they don't plant carrot nowadays we put, without putting some form of a chemical in it. Jesus, Olive, I never knew you were such an expert in all things rural. Sure, everybody knows that. Is that true, Una? Do mind her. Kevin and I had a drink from it, and look, we're still standing. She's saying that now, but wait for a few years' time until you'll give birth to a mutant child. <laughs> I can see the beast of Nocnery. Jesus, <laughs> I'll go and have a look at this uh, holy well. You know something? It might wash away some of my sins. Come on, Anta! Oh. If I get through tonight before killing that woman. Look, what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Don't ask. Kelly, come on, the food is ready. Not hungry. You, not hungry. Not a crime, is it? Do you know, sometimes I just don't get that girl. I don't know. You know, she's been up and down like a roller coaster since we collected her today. You say it like it's a bad thing, Una. Sorry? I begin to think that's how life should be lived. Like a roller coaster. Are you for real? The straight and the narrow. Been doing that all my life. And look where it's got me. Ah, hello there. Where is Trina? And what have you done with her body? Always looked down on her. Thought she was off her head. And that I was the one with all the answers. Probably be her wedding next. And what'll I have? Ah, you've got a job. A very good job. That's about to introduce another pay cut. And your apartment? That's about to feel the slap of yet another interest rate hike. It's a wonder people are running off to London. London? Trina, you don't mean, you're not going, are you? No, I'm not. Jesus, for a minute there I thought you were. For a minute there I was actually considering it. Can you believe that? Look, you don't mean that, do you? But then coming up here today, I realised something. Yeah, that five women camping out on the side of a mountain isn't exactly ideal for a hen party. No, this, here, you and Kevin taking it all on together. What I wouldn't give to be in your shoes. You don't mean that. It's heaven on this, it's heaven on earth this place. You've both really landed on your feet. Mm. And here's me thinking you hate the place. As much as I probably like that, even I can't deny it's beautiful up mm. here. It is. A month up here and you'll be dead. Oh, I decided to join us again, have we? In fact, I doubt you'll even last the night. I'd last a lot longer than you, and that's for sure. <laughs> and here's me thinking we couldn't get you out of your little Docklands apartment. Little is right. The place bloody suffocates me at times. What with making all his dull buddies dropping in. I won't miss that, so I won't. Miss it? I don't want a fresh cup. This tea's like Parnell's piss. Oh. Uh, Kelly. Huh? I, I knew it was good, but it's not that good. Huh? The, the view. You've been staring out as if you're in a trance. Just looking, that's all. Come on, it, it's not that bad, is it? You tell me. Look, if I'd known you'd wanted to piss up that bed, we could have gone with it. I never said anything. You don't have to. You were going around with a face and that would sour milk. I'm grand. Grand. When people say that, they're usually lying. Kelly, he's out there, you know. Who? You're Mr. Wright. Oh, and here's poor old me stuck up the side of a mountain. <coughs> no, no. Just my luck. He's out there. He's out there right now, and he's looking for his Mrs. Wright. So come on. Why don't you come on over and we'll have some food? You know what they say about drinking on an empty stomach? Is Kevin? Is Kevin what? 
You're Mr. Wright. Uh, he'd want to be. I'm getting married to him next week, remember? And in case you forgot, this is my hen party, and we've the small matter of a hangover to prepare for. Una. Yeah. Um, if anything was wrong, you know, and you had a problem, like something you didn't really want to talk about, I just want you to know that, that I'm here for you. You do know that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. Like anything, anything at all. Yeah, I know, I know, Kelly. I wouldn't tell a soul. I know, I know. Holy well, my backside. More like a cesspool if you ask me. And as for all that junk tied onto the side of the tree, have they all gone mad in the head up here? I told you it's a wishing tree. A wishing tree? Did you ever hear the likes? No, Olive, um, she's right. It's an old tradition. See? It's what people in the countryside do. Tie something personal onto it in the hope of a wish coming true or a sickness healing. A load of hocum pocum, if you ask me. Well, Kevin doesn't think so. He ripped off a part of his shirt and tied it to the tree. All right, you better go in and ask Tree to make a wish in it, because she doesn't look too happy inside there. Jesus, what's wrong with her now? I don't know. Go and check. She's an awful sick. We'll have a drink. I see what's in this bag. Oh, there's wine. Pour us out a drop of wine, there. A fresh one, Kelly. Look, you've been nursing that one there for ages. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Well, look, now it's it's there if you want it. Oh. Dublin. I can't see a thing. Yeah, Dublin's that way, or so Una says. I still can't see a thing. Join the club. You know something? It's a great start for her in life. Up here, the great outdoors. Great outdoors? You've changed her tune. Oh, she's lucky. A lifetime ahead of her up here. Some people never get the chance of that. Maybe some people choose not to. Well, they're missing out if they do. I wouldn't say that. Oh, well now, a life of ups and downs and good and bad and happy ever after. You make it sound like a fairground attraction. Well, after 36 years of marriage, I think I know what I'm talking about. Maybe. Oh, there's no maybe about it. They're not easy things at the start marriages. They're full of surprises. They've little downs and disappointments. But you've to work on them. You know, there's, they're a lifetime's work of marriage. A lifetime's work. Yeah. Uh, can sorry. I? No, sorry, you go No, on. no, 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 you please. What the hell is going on? Who said anything was going on? I heard you and Anta. Oh, that? Yes, that. Oh. You have to believe me, there's nothing going on. I heard you. Why were you so angry with her then? Oh, well, look. Auntie is a needish. She's always putting two and two together and coming up with six. Only she's done it this time, but a lot worse. Well, it didn't sound like that from where I was. You were so angry with her. But look, they had a row. Maybe a blazing row. But anything other than that, it's all in her head. How can you be sure? Did you hear her saying she saw nothing? Well... Yes. And would you accuse somebody of something that they never saw? I guess not. Of course you wouldn't, because it's wrong. Of course they're going to have rows, blazing rows. But sure, it's all the pressure of the wedding. Wouldn't you be demented if you had all those bits and pieces to do as well? The pressure she's under is immense. It is, it is hard to believe, all right. Now, listen, listen. We're supposed to be enjoying ourselves, aren't we? Now, come on, let's give... Una, a hen night to remember. A hen night that she'll deserve. Cheers. I, I'm just, I'm sorry about that. No, no need to apologise. You're a very good friend and they don't come thick in the ground. Now, come on, we're supposed to be having a party. Get your drinking shoes on. We're supposed to be getting drunk. Riley drunk. One thing I'm pretty good at. <laughs> You okay, Trina? I will be. Uh, it's a disaster. I couldn't organize a piss up in a brewery. I think I have the perfect recipe. What? Bitch whiskies? A bomb wouldn't get this thing going. Well, you and your big mouth. Did you sort it out? 
Did you see what you almost stacked it? Did you sort it out, I said? Yes, I did, but the girl was nearly demented over you. I can't wait to get off this bloody mountain. If that hike down wasn't so bad, I'd be gone <coughs> hours ago. Uh, did, did anyone drop this? What is it, love? W-A-R-T-R-O-L. What rod? Fast and natural. <laughs> Genital what? Creep! <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Una? Oh, let's just say that the previous tenants had some unwanted visitors. Unwanted visitors? It's genital what cream. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Right, ladies. Prepare to meet your new best friend. Give me the rubber sack there, Una, will you? Bitch whiskey's coming right up. Where did you get that? What, this? Yes, that. Oh, my God. Is that what you were looking for? <laughs> Would you like a megaphone? Oh, I'm, I'm Kelly. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... You idiot! What? What? It's just an STD, not bloody AIDS or, or syphilis. So don't worry. No one's going to catch anything off me. You, 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 you know what's in anything to you. Take it easy. No one has to. It's okay, Kelly. Yeah. That's why Mr. Wright won't be going to your wedding. He called me two weeks ago, told me I passed it on to him. The names he called me. Things he said to me. I wanted to die right there on the spot. And like, are you okay now? Like, <laughs> clear it up, or at least it will in a while. A couple of months, the doctor said. God, if I caught the bastard who passed it on to me, I swear, if I caught him. And if he got the girl who gave it to him, and she got the guy who gave it to her, and on the shelf! Put it in it, Trina. Uh, music. Olive, Olive, maybe you'll get music and put on a bit of music. Well, of course. You and your big mouth strikes again. How was I to know? Now you know the real reason I didn't make it to the dress fitting. But, Kelly, why didn't you call me? I might have gone with you. Could you imagine that call? Pencil, the dress fitting, Una. I think I caught the pox. <laughs> it was horrible sitting there in, in that corridor, <laughs> waiting on your name to be called. Everyone looking at you. Lads, eyeing you up like your easy picking. I wanted to throw myself under the loo coming out of that hospital. Do you know that? Dive right under it. <laughs> and do you know what the best bit is? Go on, guess. I have to call every guy I was with <laughs> for the last six months. Tell them to have a checkup urgently. There's some of them I can't even remember their names. <laughs> Not to mind how to contact them. What do I do if I bump into one of them again in town? Someone I passed it on to. What do I say? Oh, I'm mortified. I'm never, ever going out again. Do you hear me? Never. I don't care if I just sit in like a nun for the rest of my days. I could have had ten mortgages for the money I pissed away. Ten! Well, that's really put a kibosh in the night now. Once and for all. No, maybe not. Oh, and um, Trina, I'd say you better mix up a batch. Bitch whiskies? Look, I know it's a bit early, but I don't have a better idea, do you? Me neither. A and make them extra strong, too. What? What's going on now? Oh, Trina here's going to mix up a speciality of ours. Guaranteed to take your blues away on yes. the They're not the ingredients, are they? They sure are. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Listen here. Speak for yourself. <laughs> whiskey? Oh, but not just any ordinary whiskey. Jack Daniels. Oh, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Kalua? Ka what? It's a Brazilian liqueur, Aunt Aff. What are you lot? A bunch of winos? Close enough. And to bind it all together, Mother Earth's finest. Milk. Full fat. You're mixing milk in, in with whiskey. Oh, wait till you taste it. You'll soon change your mind. If we still have one after it. No, um, we had them on holidays one time. And we were hooked from the first glass. 
What? Watch me, girls. One sip and you'd all be in heaven. An accident, an emergency, more like. That whiskey alone is enough to give us liver failure. Well, if they taste as bad as they sound. No, trust me, Olive. You'll love them. Well, I. Okay. You will. Come on, ladies. Look, Olive, watch. This is what you do. Just throw them back. <laughs> That's it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Our door will always be open, so I hope you'll never be strangers. So now, ladies, let's get right pissed! Woo! <laughs> Come on, out till we go over there and take in the rest of the sun. <clears throat> Again, what does it look like? You have a feather boa. You know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, did I say it was? There are worse things that can happen to people. No shit, Sherla. Well, just oh. consider yourself lucky. That's all that happened to you. Well, I want your opinion, Trina. I'll ask for it, okay? Again? Yes, again. How about you make that one last a little longer next time? How about you mind your own business? Right, ladies. Come on. Who's got a dirty joke? Or an even dirtier song? Anta, you! I'm afraid I'll need a good few more of these before I even think about singing. And you need bother looking at me. Oh. Come on, girls. Come on! This is supposed to be a head night, remember? We're supposed to be raising hell. Kelly, may maybe you should slow down a bit. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. No, Kelly, now, come on. Stop your messing. <sighs> Who's messing? Now, can I have my bottle back, please? No. Look, come on. You're throwing, you're throwing them back like there's no tomorrow. We came up here to get drunk, didn't we? Yes, but not paralytic drunk. If we came up here to behave like a pack of girl guys, you can show me directions to that pub, OK? Here, so. Knock yourself out for all I care. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Great. That's all we need. Kelly's throwing a little pity party for herself. Look, it can't be easy for her having to face up to all that in front of everyone. At least what she has can be cleared up with a bit of cream. <laughs> Jesus, you're still not going on about Mick, are you? You know, I'm going to kill him when I meet him next week. Well, you'll be a bit late for that, Una. What? He's gone. Ah, uh, Trina, you, you don't mean... At least he will be this time tomorrow. Oh. Said he's going to sign his share of the apartment over and lump me with a giant mortgage. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it, I suppose. He can't do that. Can Whether he? he can or he can't, he is. 35 years of age. And there's still things he wants to do. Still places he wants to see. God, you poor thing. Ah, who was I kidding? Always knew he wasn't as serious as I was. Thought us buying a home together would change all that. Guess I was wrong. <coughs> is this what's going to happen to me, Una? I ain't going to send someone to take my home if I can't keep up the payments. No, no, it won't happen, no. You'd say mass, so you would. <laughs> a refill. Would, would anyone like a refill? I'll have an empty, maybe. Whiskey bitches, bring them right up. <laughs> it's bitch whiskies. I don't care what they are. Here you go. Do you know something, you love? Yeah. It kind of gets cold up here, so uh, it does. A few more of these and two will be too drunk to notice. Yeah. Uh, any chance we could light a fire? Fire? No, but, uh, Kelly, remember that male stripper idea you had? What about him? You know, it's an awful pity you didn't book him. We could have got him here to keep all of war up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. 
If he'll make that hike up here and he'll strip for me, he can lock my fire. <laughs>
Anta, what have you been saying? I just... I Anta just, thinks... Anta, who thinks you heard... She heard Kevin and Una bickering during dinner. B bickering? All I said was... What if... You, you told her? I, you, I, you told Olive my private business? Oh, look, just look, look. She was just concerned, Una, that's all. Listen, let's everyone relax before this whole night is ruined. Ruined? I think it's a bit too late for that now. Thanks to Kelly there. Me? Yeah, you. Uh, now hold on a minute. No, because your little dirty secret's out. You thought you'd dig deep enough to find one of mine. No, no, of course not. How could you be so spiteful? Oh, Kelly's life is messed up, so she wants to mess up somebody else's. No, you were the one who lied about it, Bruce. What was I to think? Lied about it? What does she mean lied about, Zuna? Oh, for God's sake, Trina, what do you think this is all about? Is this true, Una? <laughs> Just stop! I, I, not you too, Trina. I said, is it true? I said, not you too. Show me. What? Go on, the show us. I want to see it. You get lost. Go on, show her. It's nothing. It's a bruise. That's all. Please, look. If it's you nothing, then show her. Show now. All in my head, is it? All in my head. Let me have a look at it. <laughs> that, that's what all the fuss is about. <laughs> <laughs> my God. I often got worse coming out of the back, so I did. <laughs> That's the most degrading thing anyone has ever done to me. A dresser? Did that, Una? Isn't that what the girl is after saying? Una, did a dresser do that? Or did it happen another way? Oh, for God's sake. First her, and now you. What are you? A double act? Una, answer her. Una, say something. She doesn't have to. Look, a car, a, a dresser. You know, to be honest, I don't know or I don't even remember. I mean, how many times have you woken up and found a, bru a bruise on you and you don't know how or where it came from? Yeah, it, it happens all the time. And, and, and what would thrown all the junk out here all week? You know, I'm surprised I'm not covered in them. Kelly, T Trina, no, what? You, 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 you don't think I'd lie about something like this? And, and Kevin, would you think that little thing, girls? What has gotten into you? Girls, what has gotten into you? Happy now, are we? <laughs> and you? Embarrassing that poor girl it is on her hen night. You should be ashamed of yourself. The pair of you should be ashamed of yourself that you think my Kevin capable of such a thing. And he's not even here to defend himself. God, would he have some neck. My Kevin is a gentleman. <laughs> Twice the man that he'll ever get. Because you, between you, Riggett, and God only knows what. <laughs> and you, your man couldn't run away fast enough from you, could he? My Kevin, he's going to turn this dump into a home. He's bent backwards over for that girl, so he is. He didn't want to come up here, but he gave in. He settled for it when another man would have said no. That's how much he loves that girl. Gave in. Sorry? Settled for this. Well, it was hardly any secret now, Una, that he wanted to stay in Dublin. No. As a matter of fact, neither he or I could wait to get the hell out there, if you must know. Oh! Maybe you wanted to leave your family, my love. But I can assure you Kevin didn't. He wanted to be near his home, his pals, and his hurling. Now you've brought him up to all this, when will he get a chance of seeing that again? How dare you? How, how dare I? Yes. I raised my son only to have the likes of you to take him up to this asshole place for the rest of his life. The likes of me? Yes, showing off to everyone. Look at me with my little country cottage <laughs> in an accent as fake as your fake tan. Oh. Well, I have news for you, my dear. You will always be from Drimna. And no airs or graces will ever change that, my dear. Well, now, Olive, there's a side of you I always suspected was there, but never thought I'd see. Tell me something. Did the banks pay you to take this off their hands? I bet they did, so they did. Will you look at it? All of you, look at it. It's a dump. You take your hands into your own life to go inside there for a piss. And this, <laughs> this is not a hen night. This was a great excuse for you to get a couple of Egypts like us up here to clean it out for you. It's no wonder he couldn't wait to get as far away from you. Give him a half a chance and he won't be long coming back to me. It's and he'll leave you here with your view and your pedaces and your wishing well or whatever the hell it is. If he was that fond of you, why do you think he ran to Antis, 
so quick when she offers a place to stay. Um, and she lives there in her own. She has the space. No, rubbish. Your house is the very same size as hers. No, I, as I said, she no. lives in her house. It's that he couldn't wait to get away from you, which you're all constant, mourning, groaning, and you're criticising. Now listen here. It's not one of your pens you're talking to here. You know, I'm surprised he didn't leave you years ago. Only he met me, he'd still be tight. You're all apron strings. I'd watch my tongue if I were you and I... Oh, why, Olive? Will you smack me too? Two? What do you mean, two, now? I, I, I mean, look, it's getting late, and, and Jack, we should put the tents up before. To hell with the bloody tents! Now, what do you mean by two? Look, it, it's nothing. I, I just, I, I just lost my temper. That's all. No. If it's not, nothing, my arse, Una. No, look, I, I just said it. Look, to shut her up. That, that's all. It's a joke, girls. Trina and, and Kelly. You don't think I'd lie about something like that? You, you're not taking what I said serious, are you? G girls, please. Whatever about lying to us, please be honest with yourself. No, Anta. You saw nothing, remember? Nothing. He was putting away the plates and you came in and that's all. No one's going to hurt you here, no one. No, you've got it all wrong, all wrong. You can't leave her. No, don't take her seriously. I'm telling the truth. Oh, then how come no one believes you? Trina, look, it was nothing, it, it was a stupid argument. We were sorting out the seating arrangements and we started arguing, arguing over Olive and her constant interfering. Kevin shouted and I shouted back. He raised his voice and I raised mine. I think I even called him a spy little prick. <laughs> that, that just made him worse. He raised his hand and he hit me. He hit me hard, hard on the arrow. He was about to hit me again. He clenched his fist and the door opened and you walked in. You walked in and uh, No. I, I, I couldn't speak or, or breathe. When you left, and uh, I, I went outside. Kevin followed me. You start to cry. Cry. Cry like a baby. He was begging me to forgive him. He, he told me he'd never done it before. He hadn't. He told me he'd never do it again. I, I felt so sorry for him. You know, I think I even apologized for making him mad. I thought it was my fault. We went back inside and the next day, I made myself believe that it never ever happened. It never ever happened. Jesus Christ, Kelly. I'm going to kill him. Going to kill the bastard. <laughs> we'll bring him somewhere, me and you. What are you talking about, Enter? Whatever it costs, we'll get it mended, fixed up. No. No, no. She's only saying that to hurt me, so she's old enough. I want to tell them. I did, Olive. No, Enter. No, not my boy, Enter. No, no. no. He did, Olive. He did. No. Get her out of your Enter. Oh, Una, love. And you too. The pair of you just go. You can't send them off, Una. And you, and uh, Trina, get your stuff and leave. Hey, what do we do? Just leave. We're in the middle of nowhere. Leave me alone. Oh, come on, Kelly. Look, we'll take the car. What about car? I can't take the car. We've all been drinking. What about you? You can't stay up here on your Just own. Just go. Just come on, Kelly.
a voice is raised or a hand is raised. It doesn't mean that it's right or that it's acceptable, but it does go on behind closed doors sometimes. ever after. Not in this life, anyway. There are no knights in shining armour, and anyone who thinks otherwise is a fool. But sometimes people can be fixed, mended. Enter. He's not a car. He's not something I can take to the garage and have the part replaced. What was it you said earlier about having the vision? The vision to look beyond the broken, broken glass, glass and the cracks. cracks. Yeah. But maybe it's the same with people. Maybe they can be fixed if someone just took the time. Just, just go, Enter. Just go. Bastard! <laughs> Bastard! Kevin! Kevin, you bastard! Uh... anything and no matter what you say or what he does I'm not going to stop loving him I'm going to kill him I'm going to make him pay for this please tell me tell me that, that this is I'm dreaming and that this is a horrible nightmare oh, I wish I could the aunt is right I, I, I can fix him just just like this old place oh god as if I know you know this is our dream start our dream home. And it's all come tumbling down bef before it even got a chance to get off the ground. The builders, the auctioneers, the solicitors, they've all got a slice of the cake. Even if I wanted to walk away, I wouldn't know where to start. Oh, come on, come on. Let's get you out of here. Oh, but this stuff, what about it? To hell with that. It could all be collected later. To get the keys, I'm freezing to death out here. Yeah, we're coming, we're coming. Come back, you two. Are you sure we won't stay where we're not wanted? Of course you're welcome. Come back. And look, maybe you should get the other two before, before they end up in the middle of nowhere. In that darkness, let them find their own bloody way home. You know, I hope he rots here. Yeah, the whole stinking pile comes flying down around him. Oh, great! The tent's not all we need! We'll never get the weapon in this! Forget about them, just come in to You have to move on! Very nice, Jimmy Murphy is one of my favourite parents. 
thanks to me Rocky for letting me play among women. All he knew what happens in the Himalayas is beyond me, as I always wanted to know. Anyway, I'd like for a few seconds to introduce you to the cast over on the far side after a virtuoso performance last year, an even better one this year, playing the part of Ireland, Angelina Dolan. <laughs> Most of Angelina's family here tonight, including her mother. <laughs> next, uh, next to Angeline, we have uh, a girl born in Wolverhampton, but living in Arte for many years. Her very first time on stage, Nora Hunt. <laughs> next, we have the unfortunate Una, who was our director last year. I wonder, did she marry Kevin or did she not? <laughs> and Annette O'Donnell. <laughs> Here we have playing the lovely tree in a who can't seem to hold on to anyone, uh, Louisa Hearn. <laughs> and finally, uh, this girl here um, uh, alongside me, Orlan Kilkenny. Father from Ath Hay, mother from Leitrim, she's now living in Barry Longford, Leah Brown. <laughs> so again, thank you for coming. We'll have a raffle in a minute. If you'd like to play it, tell your friends. we a good club tonight. Tell them to come and be down here on Saturday and Sunday night. And if you don't like to play, don't say anything. <laughs> so good night and thank you very much. <laughs> On behalf of the cast and the crew of the Night Epiphany, I would like to present you all for Mugra uh, <laughs> with this plaque, uh, just, just to thank you for the, the, your excellent skill and dedication to this production. I want to wish you a happy birthday on the show.